Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Mike here and today I'm going to be giving you guys five things that I learned after my first year MPA school. So, um, a little disclaimer first. So, obviously, um, you learn constantly and obviously what you learn today and you think might be good today, tomorrow you might decide, oh, actually, that was bad. So, um, if you guys don't agree with what I'm saying, um, just go down to the comment section and just um, tell me your viewpoint and um, what you think and why you don't agree. And um, these things I'm saying right now, in the future, I might learn different, so I might even change my opinion. So um, I just have to get it out of the way. So without we say any more time, guys, um, like the video, subscribe to the channel so the video can reach some more people. And um, as I said, comment below your thoughts and maybe things you learned as well. And um, let's just start the video. So the number one thing I learned from med school or PA school, however you want to call it, is that um, it's only as hard as you make it. And basically, like med school has this reputation of being so hard, the workflow being the workload being so big, so like a lot of work to do, and it seems like this impossible mission to go on to. Uh, but at the end of the day, I don't really believe it. I feel like all degree have some difficulty to some extent. But uh, what I found out after my first year is that it's only as difficult as you make it. Like you decide how difficult it's gonna be. For example, myself, from the start to like January. February I was on top of everything and when we had formative exams obviously it was hard but it wasn't it wasn't impossible per se right then um, COVID happened and the whole pandemic and everything the lockdown and I just lost my life lost focus it lost structure and I just kind of like lost everything so when that happened I kind of like stopped working and then my work kind of piled up I had a lot of stuff to do. So when our exam um, came up, it got so intense, like the workload was just too much for me and it was it almost seemed impossible. Um, now I got lucky I didn't fail. Um, I made a video about me opening my resort, which I'll link in the cards, which will be over here or here and in the description box. And um, I got lucky, but like that kind of showed me how at the end of the day, you decide how hard it's going to be because at the, like, at the beginning, I was like, oh, it's not that bad. But at the end, I, I was like, I, I thought I was gonna fail because I kind of left everything almost last minute and um, it goes too much for me. So you decide how hard it's gonna be for you at the end of the day. So if you put in effort and you kind of like work consistently, it won't be as tough. If you don't, you find it very, very challenging in my opinion. So yeah, the second thing I learned in a med school or PA school is that basically um, it's not about what you know, but who you know. And and someone actually told me this this phrase uh, when I started med school. Um, basically, back in college, I had this mindset of like, for me, it was like a transit. It was two years, just like a transition for me. So I went there with thinking, I'm just here to get my A levels done and get out of the way. So I finished my two years without almost speaking to nobody. <laughs> I wasn't about to, like, I didn't go there, everyone wanted to make friends. I just wanted to go there, get my levels and go. And then I kind of came to med school with the same type of mindset. But then I got lucky, I started meeting some people, like, accidentally. And this dude, he was like, he told me, look, he was like, bro, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And he, he started explaining to me how, like, the more people you know, the kind of easier it gets because you get resources from people you get advice from people and then that kind of give me like the, the the push to start talking to people meeting people and I'd say that really saved my life because here's what it is like um you can't know everything um you can't understand everything at some point in time you need help and if you buy yourself you don't know anybody you buy yourself well as what I found out like when I when I started opening up and meeting people uni was just more fun to me so um yeah i would say it's not about what you know i mean nowadays to be honest it's about who you know even like when it comes to getting a job most of the time it's about who you know so i'd say like make friends talk to people um join societies just do stuff where you can get involved in stuff uh, the more people you know the better because you can get help you can get resources you can get advice you can get moral support you just know by yourself so um, that is the second thing I learned from med school. Number three thing I learned from med school is that med school doesn't have to be competitive. 
So if you've um, if you're looking to go into med school or PA school, you probably heard like they saying, "Oh, med school is so competitive and this is so hard, it's so competitive," and and that was kind of stored in my head for years. So I went to med school like the first day. I went to the lecture room. I saw everyone in there, and I was like, "Okay, these are my enemies. Like, these are the people I need to destroy." <laughs> That's kind of like how because. For years, like it was put in my head, oh, he's so competitive. Almost like, you know, these are the people that you're working against. And then, um, luckily, that changed. It's not really like that. Like, med school doesn't have to be competitive. Like, don't get me wrong. Maybe the application stage is very competitive because obviously you need the highest grade to get in, experience this and that to get in. But once you get in, it's not. It's less about competition and it's more about collaboration. Um, at the end of the day, like. If we all do well, we all progress. Do you know what I mean? So what I found out was like, you actually find a lot of people that are willing to collaborate, willing to help. You just have to ask for help, ask the right people, and you actually find a lot of people that are willing to help. You know how when you're going through like a difficult situation and you have someone going through that same difficult situation, it kind of brings you close together. You kind of feel like you're not alone. It's kind of like the same thing. So in med school, having seen changing my mindset around it as like okay these are the people i'm working with it just kind of like make me seem like i'm not alone here so um yeah i'd say that mindset of what people always say mask is competitive i feel like it's kind of toxic because it just like corrupts people's mindset go in there with a friendly face happy to meet people if you have that mindset just completely trash that and take that away number 14 i learned is consistency is better than intensity um so i met a lot of people <laughs> that call themselves last minute student they like to do everything i mean don't get me wrong me too sometimes i cannot wait like last minute and until i do stuff but i don't feel like that's effective like people say oh okay that's the kind of person i am and um i like prefer to do stuff last minute and everything and then when last minute comes to start a mental breakdown and stuff like that and that is, that's 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 definitely healthy to be honest but what i found out was consistency is better than intensity so as i mentioned before in the in the previous in the video i started um being on top of everything going through everything consistently and those things i learned back then to this moment i can remember most of them because i went through them a lot of times i was being consistent with it while as the stuff i learned like last minute i just learned them and i did my exam but now if you ask me right now, I wouldn't know. And now you might say, okay, but you've done your exam, you've passed your exam, so who cares, right? But then, like, for example, in second year, we'll be tested on things from first year. So now we'll have to basically go through them like they are new topics. Well, as those things I was going through consistently, if I just open my notes right now, most of them will just start coming back. In a, in a, in a profession like ours, um, the things you learn at the end of the day, I'm guessing you need it while you're working. So you probably have to know them, obviously not everything, but most of it you have to know them for the rest of your life. So I feel like doing that day before studying where you basically just push everything in your head, then take it out and throw it in the exam paper, then it's gone. I feel like it's not as, as helpful. Um, it can help you pass your exam, but I feel like in the long run it's not as helpful. So yeah, that's another thing I learned, consistency over intensity. Now number five thing I learned is basically show yourself for people to see you and this basically means put yourself forward i just had to like bring a phrase that's kind of like that can kind of hit if that makes sense but put yourself forward um like my dad always tells me like um if you don't say i am here no one will say you are there and i kind of saw this in placement so i went to placement and um i went to a prison placement in a prison for a day and I was with a nurse and then um, so new prisoners came in and when new prisoners come in you have to um, take some of their observations, um, some data from them and then basically lock them into the system, right? So I was with the nurse and she basically did everything while I observed. So after I spoke to one of my mates who went to the same hospital, sorry, to the same prison and then he said, oh, he was like, oh, I was I, I was doing the ops for the pay for the prisoners. I was the one logging them into the system. I was the one taking it, I was the one taking that. And I was like, really? And I was like, oh, who, who, like which nurse was you with? And he was like, oh, I was with this nurse. That was basically the same nurse I was with. 
So I got confused. I was like, okay, why would she let you do it? And she would just let me preserve. And it turns out he was like, oh, by the way, I can do this. Do you mind if I do it? So he put himself forward. I was being too polite and I didn't want to like interfere. I was just be, I didn't want to like cause trouble. So I was just being too polite. I didn't say nothing. Well, as he put himself forward and she saw him. So he was like, okay, I know how to do this. We've done it before. We've done it in school, in uni. And she was like, okay, then go ahead and do it. Then she was observing him. Well, as I didn't say nothing. So maybe she didn't know I could do it. So she just did that made me observe. So I'd say like, you lose a lot of opportunities if you just stand by and um, I know some people are like shy and, and they don't have that much confidence but um, I learned that you lose a lot of opportunities like you have to really put yourself forward if you don't say oh I can do this or if you don't say I'm here no one will be like oh they can do this you'd have to put yourself forward for people to see you so for me that's really important and um, that's something I want to do more of next year now I've got a bonus one which is basically don't compare yourself to others and um, I feel like maybe this is so due to the competitive mindset you come to med school with. So you get your grade, you want to know what other people get and you want to... And um, I, I do feel like maybe using other people for motivation is not bad. Like, you know how you see celebrities and, you wanna, and you're like, okay, I want to be like them. Using it for motivation. I don't think that's bad. But um, like recently, I actually spoke to someone who was having a, a hard time after exams. And basically this person was comparing himself a lot to other people so the person would hear what this person got and would beat themselves up over it because they didn't get that grade so I'd say um, stay in your lane like um, try to be the best you can be not the best someone else can be and like you kind of compare yourself but you've got your own path to follow they've got their own path to follow just try to constantly improve yourself and do better and be the best you can be so I, I feel like that is something I need to also implement myself and um, hopefully I'm able to do that and um, yeah so that was just like a bonus one so I hope this like helps some people maybe starting uni this kind of give you things to keep in mind or kind of like broke some myth um, but yeah that's it um, good luck with everything your application process the beginning of uni and everything and um, I'll see you again for the next one peace